hello guys i hope you are doing good in the previous video we had seen how to solve the method chaining problem from the navi interview in this video we'll see how we can solve this live live coding challenge so the problem statement read as we have to create a progress bar that takes n seconds to complete so here the seconds could be configurable or it can be dynamic we have to make the progress bar queuable so there will be a button on the button click the count for the progress bar will increase and once the button is clicked a progress bar will start running and once that progress bar has been completed animating the second bar in the from the queue will start so i hope you have a clear idea about the problem statement let's start implementing this so here we'll be implementing this in vanilla javascript because that's what majority of uh, companies look for so they expect us to solve the problem in vanilla javascript or you can use your framework of choice as well it's up to you but i usually solve this in vanilla javascript it provides me a great hold over the language so here i've created a div element with the id root so this will be the entry point for the progress bars here we will inject our progress bar and that will animate on the dom so this is the entry point now let's create the progress bar for the progress bar i am creating a css class so because our progress bar will have certain styles right it will have a certain color and a height just to represent that the bar is of this color and it is animating so let's add that height is let's say 10 pixel and background is red now i will be animating the progress bar using the transition so there are two ways to do the animation on the dom one is through transition second is through animation so i have a detailed article on how you can create the progress bar using the animation in this video i'll see uh, we'll see how to create the same using the transition so that you have the idea about both and accordingly you can choose that during the interviews so to tra the transition basically works right whenever a css property change we say while this css property will change do it in this given amount of time using this animation so here let's say initially i keep the width of the progress bar as 0 so it won't be visible it will have no width and as the progress bar is added to the dom i will say that increase is width to 100% so from going to from 0 going from 0 to 100% it will do the transition in 2 seconds so let's add the transition property and we say the width of the css when it is transitioning it should take 2 second and it should happen with ease so ease is the animation how it should happen so it will start slowly then go fast then end slowly that's how the ease happens there are multiple um, uh properties for the animation so one of them is ease then second is fade in fade out multiple are there but i'm going with the ease so this is the css class for our individual progress bars now coming to the javascript part let's store this entry point so that we can inject our progress bar into that so here i am using document dot get element by id and root inside this root we will inject we will keep injecting our progress bar now to create a progress bar i am creating a function create that will dynamically generate a element and add that to this root with the class progress bar so we will dynamically create the progress bar every time required so let's create a element document dot create element and here i am creating a div element and to this element i am saving uh, i am adding the class progress bar now the element is created we have added the class progress bar to it now let's add this element to the root so root dot append 
child and here I'm adding the element just to see right if element is being created or added not let's invoke this function so I'm invoking this once and even after invoking right the element won't be visible because the width of this element is zero so let's change this to 50 percent and see when I click on the run button is the element visible or not it's saying there is some error uncaught reference okay sorry it's not a variable it's a class so we have to add it in double quotes so when now I run the code will be able to see a progress bar of 50 width mm, append child element sorry the progress the spelling was wrong that's why it was not animating or it was not showing now it should show so we are seeing the progress bar over here now what we have to do is because our progress bar is added at the zero width right after adding it to the dom we have to animate it so what we will do is element dot class list dot add animate or let's say we'll add a class full width in this full width class we'll add a property to change the width from zero uh, sorry change the width to 100 so here let's say full width and we are saying the width should be 100 percent now if i run this right so you'll see that progress bar is visible directly it's not animating this is because the moment it is added to the dom right and we are adding the class so the dom is not getting a buffer to show the transition so just to show right the transition what we'll do is we'll add this class after a certain time so let's say we'll add this after 50 seconds 50 milliseconds so this will give the buffer to the DOM to show the transition so now you see the progress bar is generated now from the problem statement right the timing or it should take n seconds to animate so we have to keep this dynamic now just to keep this dynamic right we will add the class but we will add this transition property separately from this progress bar class so let me remove this from here and rather what I'll do is I'll say here add this style and I'll add it dynamically so transition should transition property or the transition style will be added dynamically and here we can say the property of n to be dynamically accepted to the function so here n will be there and n will be passed here and here I'll say now it should take 5 seconds to transition from 0 width to 100 width. Now if I run this right you will see the animation is happening very slow. It's taking 5 seconds of time to complete. So this is how you can make it dynamic. Now for the time being I am just keeping it default to 2 seconds so that we don't have to pass it every time to the create function. And the second problem statement reads says the progress bar should be queuable so it should uh, once the previous progress bar has finished transitioning the next one should start so to do that right let me create a variable where I say the count is 5 so we have to create 5 progress bars now we have to determine right this element has finished the transitioning so to do that there is a event listener provided in javascript which is called transition end so that gets triggered whenever a transition is happening on the element and it has ended that means the transition from 0 width to 100 width has been finished so we can determine that this progress bar is animated and after that we can generate the next progress bar so let's attach that transition to the element add event listener 
and here I say transition end and to that there is a function and now in this function we can check so once this current element has finished transitioning right we can check the count so we'll say count minus and equal to one that means one count of progress bar has transition now if there are still counts left right so if there are still counts left all we have to do it create the element again and finally at the end of the function we will remove this listener so memory cleanup so here we'll say remove event listener and then whenever you are at attaching an event right you should always remove it to showcase that you know about how language works and it, it gives a show of strength to the interviewer right that you know what you are writing and you understand the language better so it's always when you attach event listener make sure you remove this because i'm removing it at the end of the function right so the execution of function will start from here it will go till here and after that it will destroy so the next function will start now let's run this and see so this is the first count of progress bar this is done then we have the second count now we have the third count fourth and then finally the fifth count so let's add a little gap between the progress bars just to make things beautiful so i'm adding a margin of 10 pixel here and let's run this back and you will see that the transition or the progress bar are working perfectly fine now the final part to this is we have to do this transition on the button click and make it queuable so let's add a button over here to that button i'm adding a click event and i'm saying whenever the click event is uh, whenever a click event is invoked on the button let's say add progress bar the add function should be called now let's create this add function here so function add this will call the add function every time the button is clicked and inside this we'll start the count we set the count to be zero okay so whenever the button is clicked we want to increase this count so let's say if count equals to equals to zero right we want to create the element so whenever the button or the count is changing from zero to one we want the animation to start from when the button click has happened and after that if there is a queue happening right so for the subsequent calls right whenever the subsequent add call is done or button is clicked it will keep on increasing the count and this count will be handled eventually in the event listener so let's run this and we'll see a button over here sorry i'm not sure is a count being set or why this function is getting invoked oh sorry so we have a create at the end so it's not getting invoked dynamically now nothing will happen until unless when we click on the button so let i'm clicking this one time two times so one is done second it's happening again i'm clicking it two three so three progress bar should be shown so this is how you can create a animating progress bar that is queuable you can add all this property through javascript only it's up to you but i have added it through the css just to make things little clear for you so i hope you have learned something new today thank you for your time